guys, back again with another recipe. Today we're making banana pudding, so let's get into the ingredients. So here I have two packets of box pudding. One of them is vanilla and the other one is banana cream. I have three ripe bananas. Here I have two cups of whole milk, but you're gonna need four. So it's kind of like a one packet to two cups. I have some vanilla extract. I have some frozen whipped topping, and then I also have some vanilla wafers here. What I love most about this recipe, outside of how delicious it is, is that it can all be made in one place, which will be here in my lovely KitchenAid mixer. So let's get started. To my mixer, I'm gonna go ahead and add that pudding mix and my four cups of whole milk. This is two. This is four. And I am gonna go ahead and blend that up. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up those bananas. Now that it's about halfway mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few drops of vanilla flavoring and blend that in. Now that our pudding's looking pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead and set half aside for reserve, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I do to the part that's left in the blender. So to the half that's left here, I'm gonna go ahead and add that whipped topping. Also, since we put four cups of milk in, I'm assuming that half was roughly two cups. So I set two cups of pudding aside and there's probably about two cups left in here. So now I'm gonna put my mixer back down and mix that in as well. Now to the dish that I'm gonna be serving this banana pudding up in, I'm gonna go ahead and line the bottom with these vanilla wafers. They were actually vanilla wafers, not vanilla wafers. I don't know if there's a difference. Now on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the layer of just pudding. I'm also gonna take the time to go around the edges of the container just to make sure that the cookies are visible around the sides. Now I'm gonna go in with a layer of bananas. Now I'm gonna layer it with that pudding and whipped topping. Now I'm gonna go in with those cookies again and repeat all the steps. Now that I've gotten to the top of my dish, I'm kinda gonna do a mix between the leftover regular pudding and the leftover whipped pudding that I have and put it right on top and then kind of create a little design and we will be done with this dish.
And for me, I also leave the top pretty simple, so I'm just gonna decorate it with three Nilla wafers right here on top, just like that. And then taking kind of like the leftover cookies from my box, the crumbs and the smushed up parts, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it around the top of my dessert. Now my banana pudding is ready for the fridge. Another idea of how you could top this is by using chopped walnuts, caramel, and possibly some whipped cream, but that is completely up to you. For me, my dessert is done, and I'm gonna put this in the fridge for about three hours so that my cookies can get nice and soft. And that is our banana pudding. <laughs>